Glory to the triune name of God. My dearly beloved in Christ, gracious greetings to each one of you in this passion week. St. John Chrysostom very aptly describes fasting and prayers as one of the greatest medicine for a person sick through his sins. And through proper administration of this very medicine, we may be able to get cured from the sickness of our sins. And the passage selected for today's meditation actually directs us how to administer God in our day-to-day -day life in order to get cured from our sickness. The passage is taken from Gospel according to St. Luke chapter 19 verses 41 to chapter 20 verses 8. This very passage can be divided into three subheadings where the first heading gives us a direction about the timing of God. When we go through this very passage, we come across the fact that Jesus is actually criticizing Jews for not understanding who the Son of God was or is. Though they were having one of the best physicians amongst them, who was even venerated by the children the day of Hosanna in Jerusalem, yet they were unaware and not ready to accept that he was there on time. As we know that the sickness can be cured only in one circumstances that is if we are able to diagnose it in perfect timing and my dearly beloved in Christ many a times though we are sick though we are sinners we are not able to recognize or accept the fact and until and unless we accept that we are sinners we won't be able to administer any of the medicine within ourselves. And if we are able to accept the fact, then surely we will be able to administer the medicine and through that way we can be cured. So the first message which I want to give you is that turn back to God at the correct time because the timing of God may vary from us. We may be having preferable times but God's timing is not preferable. His timing is the perfect time. The second portion which we can look on in this passage is from verses 45 to 48 where Jesus is describing about the house of God where the sinners, where the worldly peoples are selling things in the house of God where the mandatory aspect is just to share the word of God. As St. Paul directs us that you and I are the temple of God. Many times in our life, we also sell many of the things in our bodies through which we administer foreign exercises within ourselves, which actually directs us to sin. And we can see in the passage very clearly that Jesus actually rebukes the sellers and throws them out and in the same manner it is mandatory for us also to rebook all the negativities within ourselves and get it out from our houses so that it can be cleansed because our house is not only ours but the God's and until and unless we are able to do so we won't be able to administer the medicine the third portion which we may count back is from chapter 20 verses 1 to 8 where the authority of Jesus is being questioned. My dearly beloved, when we live in this world, many a times, just the way how Jesus was questioned of his good deeds, we will also be questioned of our faith and our religion. What we need to do is not to fight against them, but to fight not only through their words but through our actions through our actions of charity through our actions of genuinity and only through that way we may be able to spread the word of God dearly beloved in Christ let me come to an conclusion as we approach this passion week we are moving ourselves towards the cross and the cross itself gives us a greater perspective of self-sacrifice and until and unless we self-sacrifice ourselves to the God, we won't 
be able to get completely in line with God. May God bless you all.